apostles themselves also wrote. Paul, who wrote the most, Peter, John. But those words that they wrote were their own. But those words that they wrote were their own. But those words that they wrote were their own. They were epistles written to the believers, like I would give you a message that I received from the Lord. Those words that they wrote were their own. They were epistles written to the believers, like I would give you a message that I received from the Lord, which might contain words that the Lord gave me, but also my own words. It's not the Word of God. The Bible cannot be the Word of God. It's not the Word of God. Bible cannot be the word of God. It's not the word of God. The Bible cannot be the word of God. So dear friends, this is not the word of God. This is a book. It is just the scriptures. It is just the scriptures. It is just the scriptures. See, the Christians have many different Bibles, and every Bible they call the Word of God. Their version also claims to be the infallible Word of God. But the interesting thing is, if you look at the first few pages of your Bible, you will find the copyright. You will find the copyright. You will find the copyright. When it was written, and the publisher, Satan is a deceiver. He has got most Bible-believing Christians of this day to believe that their Bible is the Word of God. He has got most Bible-believing Christians of this day to believe that their Bible is the Word of God. Did you know in Revelation 19, verse 13, it is written that His name is the Word of God. 
It's talking about Jesus, not the Bible. Nothing is hidden from the sight of Jesus. And when we die and we stand before the judgment throne of God, there's not going to be a giant Bible that is discerning our hearts. There's not going to be a giant Bible that is discerning our hearts. It is time to forsake studying all your scriptures and to getting into religious debates and debacles in the name of the Bible. It is time to stop using the Bible to justify your stance on your doctrine. You can read it all day long, but unless you actually come to the Lord Jesus Christ in prayer, on your knees, and ask him, Lord, please know me, please forgive me, please let me into your kingdom, unless you do that, dear soul, you shall not be able to enter God's kingdom, because Jesus alone is the way, the truth, and the life, and nobody can come to the Father except through him. Because Jesus alone is the way, the truth, and the life, and nobody can come to the Father except through Him. For the Lord is living, and He leads, and He guides. If you rely on being biblical, you will not be able to enter